Steve Bowers. And I'm Cassandra Fuller. And we welcome you to Six in the City. And we have a full show. We do we're, have a full show today. We're going to hear from Leather and Lace for the first time That's on right. this program. And, 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 and Joni Gant and Emily Ann Maoli. Not only will we hear from them, but we'll we will also see them talk as to well. them on the couch. And we'll, so. and we'll talk to them a little bit later. Get, right. get the background. Ronnie Barker is, is with us. The uh, Jacob Barker Music Fest is coming up this weekend. It will be Friday and Saturday at the AMP. we got full details on that coming up. Plus, Sabrina Anderson is here. Okay. The Steak and Burger Dinner for the Boys and Girls Club is just a week away. That's right. A so week from today. A week from today as we do the show on Tuesday. It's coming up on the 17th. We'll get a preview of that. Plus, That's right. We have Melissa Zerfus, who is USJ Director of Summer Camps, and Faith Dixon, Director of After School there at USJ. They've okay. got a lot of summer programs going on. They're mm -hmm. going to tell us a little bit more about that. And then also, Latasha Hannah Huff and Demario McLean are here because the Jackson, Tennessee chapter of the Lynx Incorporated is doing a Botillion Scholarship Program. Okay. It's the 42nd Annual Botillion. Okay. All right. It's then Mona Lisa Lanier is, is with us. We're talking about Ferris Lanier and all the Lanier and company. She brought okay. some, some music for me, and I appreciate that so much, and we're going to play that on the radio. That's right. And uh, um, she has Mackenzie Graham with her and Allie Kate McDonald and Katira Jeans with us, and we're going to find out about Ain't No Stopping Us Now. Dance and, production coming yep. up. And then we'll talk to uh, Leather and Lace before right. we get away. So all that's coming up. So stay with us. We're delighted to be here and glad you're with us and sharing this time on this Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. Hi, I'm Kedrick Perkins, PGA General Manager at Jackson Country Club. Jackson Country Club's amenities are true southern hospitality. Championship golf course, fine dining, six tennis courts, junior Olympic pool and fitness. We pride ourselves in giving our members the best. Choosing JEA was a logical choice so that we could tie in our phone, internet, and cable solutions so that we can advance our next segment of technology. I started drinking more to deal with stress. Without my realizing it, alcohol took over my life. At Alcoholics Anonymous, I've found help from people who know what I've been through. Now, I have hope. Alcoholics Anonymous. Look for us in the phone book or on the web at aa.org. We can help. Call 877-426-8330. Call now. There is hope for you. Own a lawn mowing service? Propane works for you. Propane can go where you go. Tanks easily changed, no spillage, quick transition, clean burn, increased energy efficiency. Propane, the affordable, clean alternative fuel wherever you mow. Find out more about JA's ProGas, call 422-7500. Propane, the alternative fuel that makes sense. Part of JEA today. We have a real special event coming up in Jackson uh, this weekend. It's going to showcase a lot of the talented musicians in our area. So the Jacob Barker Music Fest that's been underway now. This is the third, third annual. annual. Yes, right. that's okay. great. Well, first of all, and, and, and Ronnie Barker is with this, this started because of Jacob's condition. So what was happening in his that's world? Right. Uh, Jacob was diagnosed with retinoblastoma uh, several years ago, and we underwent uh, chemo and radiation treatments through St. Jude. Uh, we did the first year of the Music Fest to uh, give back to St. Jude. And then uh, Jacob was nominated for a uh, Make-A-Wish uh, trip. Okay. And they, they come interviewed him and, and granted his wish. And while we were at Disney, my wife and I decided that we would like to do this for another family. Okay, so well, that's, that's right. That was how how is he doing interview. today? Yeah. Jacob is cancer-free and a uh, young little boy playing baseball. And okay. How old is he now? He's set six. Good six, for him. okay. Cancer-free. You were talking about that, that trip was the one time that John actually kind of could get away from everything. That's right. It was a week there. where we didn't have to worry about going about, to St. Jude yeah. and worrying about Jacob getting sick and the chemo right. reacting to his body funny. And we just got to go out and have a good time. And he got to be a okay. kid again. That's right. right. That's wonderful. Well, they know what this means uh, with Make-A-Wish and all this stuff. And so that's how, that's how this music festival started with St. Jude's and, and Make-A-Wish. And it, it's going to be at the AMP. It will be Friday and Saturday. It starts at 5 o'clock on Friday evening and then at 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon. And we got a whole host of uh, yes, bands. We, we got good bands. Two yes, full days of music. That give their time for this. Jupiter Stone, Back Road Therapy, Hot Wire, 
Hers, Ben Jesse and the Mechanics, Farewell Morning, Little Boys Blue, Five Gosh, Stories, Jesse. The Skeleton Crew. We've worked with a lot of these folks. Yeah. Reverend Jesse, Jesse and the Holy Smokes, Whiskey Dixon and the Snatch Hammers and all these other. And so that's, that's right. Just, and that's just a few of them. That's just, that's just that's a right. few of them. Because we've we got uh, two full days. We have several acoustic acts uh, okay. taking the stage between, between these main acts. acts. Okay. Is there a, is there a like, nonstop music. Is there a website or Facebook page? Uh, that Facebook can page, uh, Jacob yeah. Barker Music Fest. J Jacob Barker Music uh, Fest. It gives a full list of all the bands and stuff that's going on. And we've got food and shopping, too. Yes, so uh, Reggie's Barbecue and the Happy Shack will be there all weekend serving food. Uh, we've got uh, several vendors set up to uh, sell merchandise. Uh, some of the bands will be selling their T-shirts and stuff like that at the okay. event as well. And all proceeds are benefiting. The right. Uh, wish. The proceeds will go to the Jacob Barker Fund, and then we will donate, donate. proceeds to, to make, a make a wish. wish. Wow. Well, it's a great uh, event. Should be a pretty good weekend. I mean, we got a chance to rain Saturday, but I think Friday we're in pretty good we'll shape. It's finally going to warm down. up. Right. Let's push <laughs> it out to the seventies. Warm and... weather and no rain. <laughs> That's right. But Ronnie, uh, I mean, this is an amazing lineup of folks. This is a great. It really is. I mean, every one of them. Lots of talent. They give their we'll time. Be on stage yes, they do. Wow. We we call and this them event or is a free Facebook event, message right? them. That's correct. No no admission. So we what are a great asking opportunity for donations. to come down and hear some great local music. What you do? Well, we walk around with acoustic guitars with no strings in them. Oh, okay. They put money in the sound <laughs> okay, hole. Okay, all right, well, let's fun. try to, We try, try to, to be creative. Try to fill those things <laughs> up. That's right. All right. Well, that, well, that That's is, right. is, it's going to be at the AMP, and that will be this Friday and, and, and Friday Saturday. Friday the 13th, Saturday the 14th. 14th. You contemplate continue to do this? Oh, you, definitely. Okay. Uh, as long as we have bands that are willing to play and people that are willing to come out and see it, we're going to keep on doing it. That sounds great. Well, we'll bring out our lawn chairs and our blankets and just have a good Come on time. out. Our pocketbook because we know we got to right. get some money, we gotta, right? we got to raise some money. That's the right. amp season will start soon, I guess. Right? Yeah, I think, I think we're so. one of the first uh, events, that's events that they season, have every right? year. Okay. And then I think they open in May. May, okay. Well, so like we'll be that. getting that calendar out soon. But that's going to, going to be at the amp in downtown Jackson. So that's, that is a great lineup. And, and you can go get full details on their Facebook page, Jacob Barker Music Festival. It's oh, Jacob right. Dash Barker Dash. It's just uh, Jacob, it Jacob Space Barker, Barker Music Festival. Okay, okay. Jacob Sorry. Barker Music Festival. When did you find out that he was cancer free? Uh, it's been about a year and a half, two years ago, something like that. I can't remember the exact date. How did they determine that? Uh, well, the, the reason that we know is because in the end we had to remove his eye. So. Okay. The cancer, the tumor just wouldn't die. So the only way to to, to save Jacob's life was to take, to his, take eye. his eye. So wow. uh, once we do that, we go back every four months for uh, scans and stuff right. like that, and we've had no issues since then. So that that's amazing. great news. Yep. That's Ooh. um. Still, you hold your breath. I guess every four months, right? When you oh yeah, you go in there. Yeah. Or anytime you get sick or anything like that, yeah. you just wonder. What's going on? Yeah. You know, you, right. You'll never forget that feeling when somebody tells you your child has cancer. Yeah, yeah, wow. Well, Ronnie, y'all are doing a great thing with this. And Thank a big you. salute to all these musicians that, that right. work this. It's everybody that turns out. And so, guitars will be coming around, fill them up with cash. That's right. Goes to make a wish. Going out to the Two full days. And Reggie and everybody. And, and who else do you say is going to be the, the Happy Shack? Happy Shack. Everybody that participates in this, big salute to everybody. Yeah, I, I want to say a quick thanks to RFC Tactical for being the event sponsor. And then also for TBDN Tennessee Company, who's okay. also a major. Sponsoring okay. this too, the foundation of and we got a host of radio stations right. that rocking all those other folks and Froggy and everybody else. So yeah. big salute to everybody. Involved. We we it's do good our see you. thank you. We it do our money you. through the the yeah. West Tennessee Healthcare Foundation. foundation. Right. So I'm trying yeah. to get you some Crimson Tide stuff before you come on next year. I'll, I'll auction it <laughs> or I'll auction it off at the thing. <laughs> he's gonna make some money off <laughs> of it. Right. Is we'll what be, he's gonna do. We'll Surely we'll somebody will buy it. I'm not sure though. I don't know. about your health. Don't smoke. If you do, quit. Eat healthy. Make small changes in your diet that can impact your health. Be more active. Start in small ways and keep going. And know your numbers. Your blood pressure and your cholesterol are important to your health. Friends of Heart ask you be a friend of your own heart. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. How do you not love him?
So as the owner of Master Medical Equipment here in Jackson, uh, we uh, value JEA's service and our partnership with them. One of the main reasons we relocated into this area was to use JEA's uh, broadband internet service. We do a lot of teleconferencing, we do a lot of uh, international calling. Inside Sales Business is based off of access to telephone, to internet, to all the services we need to operate. And uh, we had to go with JEA because I felt it was the best fit for our business. Sabrina Anderson is with us with the uh, Boys and Girls Club in Jackson, Madison County and West Tennessee and Worldwide Extraordinary and everything else. <laughs> That's right. They got the steak and burger dinner coming up as we're doing this show on Tuesday. It is coming up one week from today, Tuesday the 17th. 17th. It's going to be at 6 p.m. at the Inglewood Baptist Church. And the steak and burger dinner is a very good premise. The children yes. eat the steak and the sponsors and the adults eat the burgers. That's right. That's absolutely correct. Yeah, you know, and, and so... Unless you can finagle one away. <laughs> they'll give it up. You know that, right? <laughs> Tom, you don't even have to ask. They'll, 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 they'll gladly mm -hmm. give it up for would, a burger. Would you take Most the steak so I can have that burger, please, yeah. sir? Mm -hmm. But the idea of social skills and interaction, and, and also, it's a great fellowship opportunity. It absolutely is. We want to teach them social etiquette, and people in our community care about them. Um, this year's theme is the village heroes. So, like, for instance, um, Judge Allen is going to be there. Okay. We have pilots that are going to be there, firefighters that are going to be there. So these children um, can interact with them. They can interact right. with them them and hopefully they'll be able to learn um, how they can be self-sufficient in life and be those productive, caring, and responsible Lots citizens. Okay. What year is this for yeah. the Boys and Girls Club? I want to say it's the 34th annual. 34th annual. What got mm -hmm. this started? Actually in Memphis, the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Memphis decided that this was something that they wanted to do and um, I think it just took on all across Boys and Girls Clubs across the nation. So, because so it, it is a Boys and Girls Club. It is a thing. Boys and Girls Club. And it started in Memphis. Mm -hmm. Started in I Memphis. I did not realize that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a, yeah. I didn't realize it was the 34th. <laughs> so you can get <laughs> tickets for how much? Tell them $125, $125 a person. $125. Tell them if you'd like a table, it's $650. $650. And okay. sponsorships go on up from $1,500 and up. Okay, Anybody's we'll, welcome to donate. We'll, we'll take those. <laughs> Sabrina will not turn your money down. 422 I will Or you can do an email at... It'll go to the website. Website. www.bgcjmc.org. Yeah. I, I just don't know why They've got that down. I have to write it out. <laughs> Boys and Girls Club, Jackson, Madison County. Right you got so, it. Yeah, 422 We were talking a moment ago about Carolyn... Crawford. Crawford. Mm -hmm. who was a dear lady at the Boys and Girls Club who started the Windows of Hope. She did. She was our resource development director, yeah. and, and she was a beautiful lady. lady. And she loved the Boys and Girls Club, and she worked. She had cancer and worked, and she had lost her hair, was going through treatments, and feel bad, and she'd be at that club. But she was still at the club. But she was yeah. still at that club, and just it, it's, I think just a reflection of commitment, commitment that people have felt down through the years of Boys and Girls Club. You have to have a commitment. You have to have a passion to want to do what we do, no matter what aspect of the job that you're in. Because if you're working with the kids every day, you have to have a consistent, loving, passionate heart to be able to say, hey, high five, you know, yeah. we're glad you're here today and yeah. we want you to be with How are we us. doing out there with we're these doing children? Good. We're doing good? Doing good. Tell them we want young people to realize that this is a safe environment for you as well as a place for you to learn. Okay. And it happens every day. Every day, Monday okay. through okay. Friday. Okay. Well, it, uh, it's a special program. You've been here how long now? What's this, 2018? Yeah, 18. I've been here basically 15 years. Yeah. Besides the five, I went to Memphis. <laughs> yes, you would have been. <laughs> we haven't forgiven her for that completely. You haven't forgiven me for that yet. <laughs> I kind of bring it up every year. <laughs> that she abandoned us, you know, and went down to Memphis. It started, uh, Judge Andrew Taylor and some of you started the Boys Club, I think, in Bemis, I think. In Bemis, correct. Yeah, correct. And then... And, and, uh, and there were many people, Mike Singleton, a bunch of folks, James Buchanan's on our city council, all worked actively for many years with the Boys Club, and it became the Boys and Girls Club, so it's mm -hmm. got a great history. So get out there and support these youngsters and interact with them. She's, notice she didn't invite any media people. She wanted responsible role models. <laughs> <laughs> no getting those radio TV she, people up there. She knows how you are. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> we're, keep them, we're trying to keep them out of jail, like, out of keep, trouble. They go, yeah. She's going to have guards at the door. If Steve <laughs> shows up, yeah, that, that's it. tell him, tell him we're full. <laughs> So you, you can be a Take his money, but tell him we're full. Yeah, don't, don't be interacting with him. He'll get you in trouble. Steak and burger dinner for the Boys and Girls Club next Tuesday, the 17th, 6 p.m. at Inglewood Baptist, 422-2008. Or www.bgcjmc.org. Amen. <laughs> it's good to see you. It is good to be here. Appreciate the work that you were doing. 
We are delighted to have these young ladies with us. It's their first appearance, I think, it on, our, on I this think show. It is. They, they've been performing for a long time, and, and we'll find we're out more about them. them. Little, but we're glad to have Joni Gant with us and Emily Ann Maoli, and they are called Leather and Lace. Same old place, same old city. Same old place, same old city. What can I do? Well, I've fallen in love, and I'm just an old hound dog roaming around alone. Well, I've got all this in heaven above, oh Atlanta, I hear you calling, hear you calling. well I'm coming back to you one fine day, no need to worry, ain't no hurry, cause I'm, well I'm Days and crazy and nights. Well, can't you hear the music playing? You must have heard them singing. We're gonna rip them up and light up the night. Oh, Atlanta, I hear you calling. Hear you calling. Well, I'm coming back to you. Changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video apps with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi Fi devices with the free View It app. Call E Plus Broadband to add TiVo and ask about our new packages. Jackson is where I chose to attend college, and it has put me in touch with many interesting people. On Jackson 24-7, we placed an emphasis on higher education. Our community has four colleges and universities. That's unusual for a city our size. They mean a lot to the economy of our community, but none of that can happen without people dedicated to teaching and research for the next generation. Jackson has many great stories, and I enjoy telling them on Jackson 24-7. Every day on TV6. On a lawn mowing service, propane works for you. Propane can go where you go. Tanks easily changed, no spillage, quick transition, clean burn, increased energy efficiency. Propane, the affordable, clean alternative fuel wherever you mow. 
Find out more about JA's ProGas. Call 422-7500. Propane, the alternative fuel that makes sense. Part of JEA today. Back to Six in the City. We're reminiscing here. <laughs> Melissa Zerfost is what? We survived an eighth grade field trip. She survived. <laughs> yeah, she survived. <laughs> yeah, had the been, kids and <laughs> Steve. Had, had struggled. She is the USJ Director of Summer Camps, and Faith Dixon is with us, and she's Director of After School. Here to talk about the summer programs that are coming up at the uh, University School of Texas. It's good to have you both here. Thank you didn't you. make that trip. No, I didn't. No, I didn't, yeah. <laughs> she heard guys. you were going, I and keep she's elementary. like, I'm out. I, I stick <laughs> okay, to elementary. <laughs> <laughs> They get in the middle school, they're gone. Uh, they're like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we need to start doing one of those middle school trips. Yeah. You know, all that stuff. It's a great experience. Well, tell us about the summer camp programs. Why is happening here? Well, we're excited. Um, this is actually our 10th summer wow. to be able to provide um, the full-time summer camp program, which is Camp Bruins. Okay. Um, so long long day yes. Day care. Is it open to anyone or what was the It is. We opened it to the public about a, about three years ago. Um, so we service uh, students, um, rising two year olds to uh, rising sixth grade. Okay. Oh, wow. So That's from a, age a two. Age right? also from age two, yes. Mm -hmm. So five days a week during the summer? Yes, sir. Sign wow. them up. Now you, now you see why she didn't go on that field trip. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh, <no. laughs> so what, what all will they do then? During well, during our full-time summer camp program, basically we describe this program as learning disguised as fun. Um, we still want the kids to participate in activities. You know, we want them to be structured. They need that even during the summer. But we try to do it in a way that's uh, a little bit more fun than just the typical things that they learn in the classroom. They still do, um, we do reading programs. We do uh, science classes, music classes, art classes. Um, the kids have the opportunity to participate in a wide variety of activities throughout the summer. Water days, inflatables. Okay. Yes. Well, what is it then? Is this run. set up then? Because I know there are themed camps. Is that in addition to this, or, or well, is it all part of it? It's it's sort of part of it. But Camp Bruins is our summer long daycare. Summer long daycare. And she she has also added this year um, the option where you can choose your own weeks, which is wonderful. Okay. So oh, if you're okay. on vacation, uh, you're on vacation. Okay. Already, but you need three. So how many weeks in the summer do you cover then? Uh, we're uh, we're covered for ten weeks. Ten weeks. Because mm -hmm. summer vacation used to last till September. Now we're back in school in August, which is just right. insane. But anyway, I understand the calendar and everything. Well, and else. her camp actually, Camp Bruins will actually close next week, so okay. April fifteenth. So if you're interested at all, go okay, ahead. So you go need ahead. To sign go ahead. Go ahead. Now. Okay. And they, do yes. they need to just sign call the school up. to sign up? How do they need to USJ do that? USJBruins.org/camps. Or you can Bruins. just go to our website, okay. click on the summer programs okay. button. Now, in addition to that, then you've got other. Camps, 30 right. other day camps. 30 other 30, camps. yes. Wow. We have a ton. Um, anything from our Best of the West soccer, which is a regional soccer camp that happens every summer. We also have football camp, tennis camp several times. Okay. Um, we Golf, have, I know, right? Yeah, there, basketball, all, all, all of that. All the we also offer also fine arts camps. And fine yes, arts and musical saying, yeah. theater camp with Dr. Tammy Grant. Mm -hmm. We now have a drama camp with Erica Davidson. Libby Lynch does her art camps every year. And then we have little Bruins camps for age three to six. There's okay. art. Superhero camp, um, American Girl doll camp. So, all right, so, so what, lots of when fun. I go to USA Bruins and then slash camps, then mm -hmm. I'll find out about the summer program. That's, that it's, closes it's out next all week. Of it. All of the programs. It's all, it's all, all of, of them, okay. Yes. And, and so I can get it all there. So I've got choices then. You do. Okay. You can keep them busy all summer. All you summer. can do Camp Bruins and these other camps. And is, so. is it okay. just Camp Bruins that closes next? Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Got to get that. Make, right. make sure everybody gets that clear <laughs> yes, so they know right. to go ahead and go right. online and get right. registered for the camps. And these other camps yeah. you can do there as long as we based on whatever week they are. Right. Yes, you can okay. you can sign up. As and those are week long camps. Right. Typically four to five days. Four to five days. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's four days. Exciting. Yes. Oh, we so, also offer drivers ed, which yeah, wow. I know we're signed, we're signed up this year. <laughs> that's from Jim Hardigree. Yeah. Yeah. I know some. Oh, bless him. <laughs> He's got to have I know. some job Nerves for that. You, you think Jim Hargreaves, as long as he's been doing, no better by now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get somebody else to. Y'all get, get somebody else to drivers' ed. Yeah. You know. 
But he's been doing this for a good while now, so right. he must, he must, yes. Jim must like he's it. He's got it down to an art, I'm sure. I guess, I guess you get, you know, well, <laughs> but we I mean, want people to know, and just reiterate, yeah. camps are open to yeah. anyone, not to just any U.S. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, okay. You don't have anybody. to be a USJ student. USJ student. So, no. so, so USJ Bruins. Dot org. Dot, org. Dot, org. dot org slash camps, camps. And, and all that from art and everything was to driver's <laughs> ed. Yeah, it was, it was Jimmy Carmichael did all the swimming lessons all those years. So we have it now, right. now. Now we got so if you come through the city, you know, you go through Heart Degrees Driver's Ed. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, it's good to see you. It I is hope good you have a great day, ladies. Us. You know, if we can just come up with the children's hotel to stay at night. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, have, we'll, have this, we'll have this this summer camp thing covered. That's right. It's good to see you both. Thank Appreciate you. the work. Y'all do outstanding work. It's much appreciated. We're going back to the main stage. Once again, this is Joni Gant and Emily Ann Maoli, and they are leather, leather and, and lace. lace. Captured my attention, made my heart stop and listen when you look my way. Illusions in a ball cap, thinking that you're all that, I'm thinking the same. You got the something in your eyes, I think about it all the time. If you want to know if I want to be your girl tonight, yeah boy, I'm digging what you're doing, yeah boy, to making it hard and I'm wishing you're all Wrap me up tight Yeah, boy, you're shining You can't even help it Yeah, boy, your eyes can make the moon jealous If you want to know if I want to be your girl tonight Yeah, boy Every song is playing has got me thinking about you, baby And the way you roll So down the job top, burn a little black top off that road. Baby, baby, what we waiting on? The stars are out, the night is young. If you want to know, if I want to go and get gone. Yeah, boy, I'm digging what you're doing. Yeah, boy, I'm trying to keep it cool, but you're making it hard. And I'm wishing your arms were wrapping me up tight. Yeah, boy, you're shining. Even help a yeah, yeah boy, your eyes can make the moon jealous. If you wanna know if I wanna be a girl tonight, yeah boy, yeah boy, yeah boy. I wanna take a little ride with you, yeah boy. I wanna spend a little time with you, yeah boy. I wanna sip a little wine with you. In your arms, wrapping me outside. Yeah, boy, you shine and you can't even help it. Yeah, boy, your eyes can make the moon jealous. If you want to know if I want to be a girl tonight, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy. I've lived in Jackson for nearly 13 years. As part of the Jackson 24-7 news team, I've learned a lot about how this community works. I've seen how the leaders of the city and the county deal with issues, even when it brings them into conflict. And I enjoy the opportunity to tell the stories that help people at home make better decisions. I love Jackson, and I love being a part of the Jackson 24-7 team. Alex Northcutt, part of the team you trust, every day on E Plus TV 6. I'm Jimmy Floyd, Operations Manager with Jackson Madison County Emergency Management Agency in Jackson, Tennessee. With E Plus Broadband High Speed Internet, we're able to host training classes and better prepare our responders from all over the county and state. It also gives us the ability to track storms and natural disasters in real time. The phone system allows us the flexibility 
to stay in contact with local, state, and federal agencies both in and out of the office, which is crucial in our line of work. Propane, 95% generated in the U.S., is a gas that works anywhere. Central tanks for fleets, vehicles, portable tanks for forklifts, lawnmowers, the fuel you can take anywhere. Even backup generation runs off propane, household appliances, outdoor features. To find out more about affordable, clean, versatile propane, contact JEA's ProGas, 422-7500. The alternative fuel that makes sense. Propane, part of JEA today. Hear more from Leather and Lace. We'll also have an opportunity to talk with them before right. this program ends. So we're delighted to have them with us. Wonderful to have them on our show. Latasha Hanna Huff is with us, and uh, Demario McLean with us, and they are here to talk about the uh, Jackson, Tennessee chapter of the Links Botillion Scholarship Program. It's the 42nd annual Botillion Ball that is coming up April the 14th, 14th. Right. which is next Saturday. Sa this Saturday. Saturday. Yes. Right. This, this Saturday. Saturday. Yes, sir. I know, because it's Friday Tax, the 13th. Taxes are due, are they That's, not? They are. You better get to, well, uh, you, you'll wait until your Sunday. So. Yeah, I will too. <laughs> hey, find out now it's not till the 17th. How about Monday? <laughs> yeah, you wait till Monday. Right. So, so where's this yeah. going to be held? And it's going to be at the Star Center. The okay, the yeah. auditorium there. It's a great venue. It so is. What, sure is. what exactly is the Botillion? Well, the Botillion is uh, a part of the community where we get young men, and it's a program. It's not just a, a day. It's the culminating day on the 14th. Okay. So it's kind of the kind graduation, like the graduation, the graduation, graduation. Of the program. Yes. Okay. What we do is, um, battalion actually means from a young man going from a boyhood into manhood. Okay. okay. So, so that transition. we take that transition and we get boys in 11th grade and 12th grade, and then we transition them into knowing what it's going to be like when they go to college. Okay. Now, the program is based on points. We get uh, ref referrals from principals, uh, churches, the ladies themselves, because the links are made up of women. Okay. And what we do is we take those young men, and that in this six month program, and we kind of get them ready okay. uh, for college. So you're like finishing this hard program skills. then, right? Yes, mm -hmm. or so what did Soft it mean skills. to you, or what did you do during this program? It's, it means a lot to me. It's a great opportunity for one. It, uh, it showed me a lot to do with the community. Okay. It showed me a lot more that we could do for our community. And it showed me, it like, we got chances to go to the escape room. There's a lot to okay. Jackson yeah. than a lot of people know. I didn't know we had yeah, an escape room. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. And you're in school where? A Jackson Christian School. Jackson, Jackson Christian, Christian School. School. Okay. So, so you interact with a lot of different people than you yes, wouldn't sir. see in this one. How many people are in yeah, this program? How many is part of the program? Well, this year we have six young men. Okay. But okay. we've had up to maybe 18 to 20. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. And um, we actually get them that first month in January, and we take them through our five facets. One is the arts. We have social services, um, service to youth. Mm -hmm. We have international trends. Okay. We also have health, and okay. we um, get them ready to understand the importance. Mm -hmm. They go through grooming classes where oh, wow. they learn manners. Okay. Um, we took them to Nashville. They got to go to the Capitol to see where our laws okay. are made okay. here in Tennessee. Okay. We've taken them to HBCU schools in Nashville as well. They okay. toured TSU. Mm -hmm. Okay. They went to Meharry Medical Meharry. College oh, as yeah. well as Fisk. Fisk. Okay, Fisk. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. That's great. So, great opportunities So this is the 42nd great. year to do this It's the Jackson. 42nd, okay. and um, each year it gets better, um, but it's always been a staple in this community. Um, there's a lot of young men that have been in our battalion. Uh, Van Jones have been in our okay. battalion. Okay, all right. He's coming uh, back to speak. Commencement at Lane this correct, year. Right? Yeah, correct, correct. Sure. Got his this, own show on CNN now. This so. battalion is um, okay. made up of all different types of young men from um, the very uh, needy communities as well as those that are not. Mm -hmm. But what we do is we put them together and they get to learn each other. Oh, yeah. And okay. this six-month program, 
the reason we put it in six months because we want it to be rigorous because yeah. this is the end. You know, yeah. a lot yeah. of them are seniors. Yeah. We have four yeah. seniors this year. Okay. Is it a five-day-a-week program, one day a week? It's, or? it's basically one, sometimes two. This two. week is about three or four. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Getting everything yeah. before it's time, so right? Was, a lot of us wish we had right. more time with each other because yeah. being yeah, okay. close with the guys. So, what so it's, a, it's, nor no. it's probably guys that you normally wouldn't associate with, no. right? No, I mean, no, ma'am. Uh, it's guys that I've never seen. Never, never seen. seen. Wow. And, that's and, a great oh, that's good. From different schools and different Oh, from different schools. Yeah, because we do all West Tennessee. We have... Uh, young men out of Humboldt. Okay. We okay. have them. Um, Haywood. Haywood. Yeah. So think, what happens at the ball then on the 14th? The ball is like Cinderella. They okay. have a ball. We no. have a ball. <laughs> do, do you still have tickets for that? or is well, it a We don't have any more tickets. Okay. The reason we came is because their service project is to help the children in Uganda. And okay. they are collecting new T-shirts, and they're going to present them to some missionaries Okay. At the ball, okay. and we would like people to donate. Donate, donate t-shirts. Uh, donate new t-shirts. Uh, okay. Historic First Baptist, 433 okay. Martin Luther King Drive. Okay. They Just said that up. we can take them uh, there. there, and okay. they will collect those t-shirts. So we're asking our community to please, because okay. um, there are a lot of children that need, and this is a way yeah. for the boys to know that okay. they can give back. And these are new, any kind of t-shirts, any new, sizes? New t-shirts, any sizes from newborn to adult. So when but you get they, there have there t -shirts. they have to be yeah. new t-shirts. They have to be new. They have to be new. If you get okay. there and there's a new TV6 t-shirt over there, you'll... <laughs> Listen, we're going to try. We're going to get a couple well, of your T-shirts. I want you to come back sometime. We'll find out more about the links. I'm yeah, we do. The history okay. of yeah. all the links. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's cur back. I'm curious. It's been here 40 seconds, 42 years. Yeah. And well, it's been here more than 42. Yeah, well, more than 42, yeah, tomorrow, but this is 42nd annual. We'll, we'll have to have you back. It's good to see you both. It's good to have Congratulations you. Congratulations to you and appreciate good everybody's involved in this. So get those T-shirts down to the Historic First Baptist Church this week. We'll be back. We'll talk to Mona Lisa Lanier and some special guests as we continue Six in the City. JA Site Pay Kiosk are the convenient way to pay your utility bill. These kiosks are featured in the foyer at Martin Luther King Jr. Drive and at the drive through at Pleasant Plains Extended. Use your account number and follow step-by-step -step prompts to pay with cash, check, credit, or debit card. Account credit is immediate and a printed confirmation receipt is provided. Another step in customer service at JEA today. Ready, set, go for it. It's your adventure. This is your GAC. Service is not just what we say, it's what we do. When you choose E-Plus Broadband for your cable, internet, and telephone services, you can trust us to provide unmatched reliability. From sales to installation, we work hard to bring the services you depend on every day. We're currently upgrading the network to increase our service offerings available to you. So look for us in your neighborhood soon. And thank you for choosing E-Plus Broadband and for your trust in the local service we provide right here in Jackson. Well, welcome back into Six in the City. <laughs> I was frightened that we were up early, but everything is, everything is okay. Mona Lisa Lanier is with us. She is a dance instructor extraordinaire. She's been doing a production every year. This year, it's Ain't No Stopping Us Now. It's going to be this Thursday, the 12th, 7 p.m. at the Carl Perkins Civic Center. It will feature a host of students, and we have some of those with us. We do. Mackenzie Graham is with us. Allie and Kate Allie McDonald. Allie Kate McDonald. And Katira, Katira Jeans. Jeans is with us. So it's going to have all of you here. I was finding out about Lanier and Company, and she was so very gracious, and I appreciate this, bringing those yes, uh, you're CDs. Yes, you play those on the radio, because I was pulling Lanier and Company off, off of YouTube or wherever I could find it. <laughs> Probably and, getting some. Well, those guys were on American Bandstand and all that stuff. I mean, wow. They're, they're, That's they're, right. They're real stuff, and so, and, and glad everybody's okay, Ferris, and, and, and Joe McKinney and everybody else out there, so we, we appreciate you, and, and Marlon, and everybody else, and, and uh, think about you, appreciate the, the history there. So you come by this natural. 
Oh, yes. Okay. Show I've been with my mom. Talented, <laughs> 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 Show talented yes. family. Right. So how did this program get started? Because you've just taken this thing to a whole different level. Here. Well, you know, I was in the Jackson-Madison County school system right. for 24 years. Right. And I thought I'd go out on my own, and my students followed me. Okay, well, that's true. Which terrific. is wonderful. It's okay. wonderful. Right. So, the, so they work, and y'all have a studio or whatever, or dance Yes, place I'm located at the Beach Bluff Community Center. Okay, Beach great. Community. Yes. So you didn't utilize that facility out there, which is a big salute yes, to everybody. Yes, it used to be a school. School, yeah, that, mm -hmm. everybody that preserved that out there. So you're out there. I'm there. Okay, so these, these students are typical. Let's, let's talk, is it Allie, right? Is it, are you Allie, Allie? And Allie, how old are you now? I'm 12 years old. 12 years old, okay. So how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing with Miss Lanier for 10 years and has been the best 10 years ever. <laughs> best, best 10, best 10, ten years, years of your life. 10 years. I had those best 10 years once. She's 12. <laughs> wow. Well, that's great. So you've been dancing since you were two. Yes, sir. All right. Well, then let's let's talk. Let's see. We got Mackenzie. Yeah. How long have you been dancing, Mackenzie? I've been dancing with Miss Lanier for two years. Two years. And okay. I can, I plan to continue this. So journey. why did you start then? You weren't weren't doing this prior. So what got you into dance? Mm. I remember she being at school, <laughs> walking around with books. Mm. Right. Not doing anything. Okay. And I told her mom the next year, I said, I want Mackenzie to dance, dance. for me. Okay. And that it, she's been involved okay. ever since. Had, had, before that, had dance ever crossed your mind? You ever thought about dancing? It has. And I was just always so nervous. And okay. I was the shy child that okay. would never. Miss Lanier oh. pulled you out pulled of your you shell. Out of okay. And now you love it. All right, Katira, what about enough. you now? How did you get started with all this? Um, well, I've been dancing for three years, okay. um, and I went to middle school. Um, I saw that she had danced, so okay. I decided to Signed do up, it. Okay. All right, can anybody What's dance? Yes. Yes, my kids can go. Uh, uh, well, I know that. I know but, your but kid. can I anybody <laughs> dance? Uh, if, I showed up at, if I showed up at Beach Club one night. I can teach you. I can teach you. I don't know if you've okay. got enough time. Ms. I can do it. <laughs> All right, very good. Well, ain't know. no stopping us now. It's going to be the showcase. It's coming up Thursday night, Carl Perkins Civic Center. What type of dancing Center. will we see? Oh, go yeah. ahead. Tell. Well, you will see many type of dances, little kids, adults. They start from ages three and, go, and we see ballet, we see jazz, we do tap. Liturgical, African folk, retros. It's wow. A little bit of everything. How many people are involved in this? 85 to 100. You're kidding. Oh, wow, in the production. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yes. Oh, big production. That's it's huge. huge. Okay. It is really huge. How much are tickets now? $12, $12 at the door. You get those at the, at the door. door. At the door. At the door. Okay, wow. Well, this coming up this Thursday night. And so we've got 85 to 100 people are going to be dancing. On that. Oh, yes. All different and dances. it's one hour long. I was just about to say, how long is it? numbers. You're going to see 20 numbers. In right? an hour. Yes. Every year it's like an hour and 10, 10 minutes. That's it. Listen, wow. Nira, I don't know how you do it. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> no, thank you. Well, I mean, I'm having fun with these you know, kids. I'm they're sure they're wonderful. having fun with you as well. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> you know, I, well, I, they, obviously they do, you know. Somebody, they keep coming back. Somebody said, Steve, I got a deal for you. You get to teach 85 kids and uh, <laughs> I'd be going. <laughs> but they are good behavior. Yeah. They're the good. Way. The behavior I'd rather, I'd rather is good. I'm sure you can do it. Can we see uh, male and female? <laughs> oh, yes. All right, okay. all right. Very good. good. We'll see the show. It ain't no stopping us now. And that's coming up this, this Thursday, Thursday night, 7 o'clock, Carl Perkins. April the 12th. A delight to meet all of you. you get Appreciate it very much. Thank right. you so much. Thank you, ladies, for being here. I hope your next 10 years are as good as this 10 years. We're going back to the main stage, and once again, we are delighted to have the talented Joni Gant with us and Emily Ann Maoli. They are leather and lace. Turned him into a man Showed him all the things That he didn't understand Whoa And then I let him go There's one in California Who's been cursing my name Cause I got me a better lover In the UK Hey Tell him ain't my getaway One, two, three They're gonna run back to me I'm the best baby that they never got to keep One, two, three, they gonna run back to me They always wanna come, but they never wanna leave Hicksons and the earls, they haunt me Like girls, they want me to make them old They won't let go X's and I had a 
Changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video apps with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi Fi devices with the free View It app. Call E Plus Broadband to add TiVo and ask about our new packages. I started drinking more to deal with stress. Without my realizing it, alcohol took over my life. At Alcoholics Anonymous, I've found help from people who know what I've been through. Now, I have hope. Alcoholics Anonymous. Look for us in the phone book or on the web at aa.org. We can help. Call 877-426-8330. Call now. There is hope for you. Own a lawn mowing service? Propane works for you. Propane can go where you go. Tanks easily changed, no spillage, quick transition, clean burn, increased energy efficiency. Propane, the affordable, clean alternative fuel wherever you mow. Find out more about JA's ProGas, call 422-7500. Propane, the alternative fuel that makes sense. Part of JEA today. Welcome back to Six in the City. We're pleased to have this opportunity to talk with our, our special guest today. Right. Joni Gant is with us and Emily Ann Maoli, and they are leather and lace. So it's good to have you here. Thank you so Thank much. So, so, yeah. Now, this, this is different than performing live because it's, it's <laughs> totally kind of a yeah. reality. It's just us and the chickens and here. whatever. It's in the dark studio. You're looking into lights. You don't see anybody, and there's nobody yelling or cheering or clapping it's or throwing anything at you or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 It's yeah, the so first it, time we've done anything like this. Okay, well, um, well, so without an audience and yeah. everything. So it's Hold that microphone different. a little closer. Okay, sorry. Right, like that. No, it's all right. And, uh, <laughs> but we're glad to have you. So how did this get started? Well, we started as teenagers. Um, my mom actually introduced us. She did. Oh. Okay. And then as we got older, we got married and um, had babies. And okay. so we took a break for a few years, and we started back in August of last year. Last year. Okay. okay, so just, just really kind of getting back into the yeah. group. So what got you back to, yeah. get to doing this? Um, actually, we were asked to do... Um, the Summer Solstice Music yes, Festival. Yes, which is coming oh, up yeah. again this year. It okay. is coming up. Yeah. And um, we did that one show, and things just exploded. Okay. And we've been really <laughs> busy. <laughs> oh, is that right? Okay, yeah, so yeah. good. So, so people were glad. Did you have a fan base out there already that people uh, rediscovered? Or was it just apparently, kind of there new? was still some yeah. out there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. Enough to get on Facebook and say, okay, they're back. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. it seemed like um, we have done probably over 30 shows since August. 
Oh, okay, last so year. Y'all have been busy. Been busy. Yeah, busy. So very, very busy. Right. So how do you describe yeah. what you do? Um, our variety, I guess, is a little schizophrenic. Okay. <laughs> totally. Yeah. We do country. We do pop. We do classic rock. I mean, we do everything. So got your... everybody will love something yeah. we do. You may okay. not love it all, but you'll love something. And you do covers. Do you do original? We do yeah. original yeah. as well. Yes. well so, you write. Write. so who writes? You yeah. both write? She's mostly the writer. <laughs> okay. I'm the musician. So. Okay. So, so you do the lyrics and she does the songs? Well, or? she's very good with melodies. She's okay. wonderful. So if I come up with something, she can have a melody in like just a few minutes. Right. So what a perfect team. So okay. yeah, okay. <laughs> it works is out. Is this typical, or do you work with a band, or is this typical of what you do? This is typical. We have some bandmates that perform with us sometimes but typically this is us okay mm -hmm. just like this so a good venue for you is um we've been doing the anybody that pays right we do um local venues the crown winery okay. um sam t bryant distillery right. um we do private parties as well um, we also travel. We've done a couple of Midwest tours, and we've done some shows in Kentucky. Is that so. right? Okay. Yes, All right, so, so touring. Busy, this. busy, busy. So yes. where does this go then, you think? We are having fun. We just <laughs> love music. We both have, like, um, a deep passion to just sing and, and perform and express ourselves, and we both come from a very musical family. I was going to ask if you both come from yes. musically yes. talented families. We do. When so. did you start writing then? Um, I wrote my first song when I was seven, and my dad is a preacher, so he let me perform it in church. Church, okay. Yeah, when I was seven. So it's was. seven, okay. All right. That's pretty early <laughs> start. Got, I yeah. know, she's got this down pat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know about that. I mean, you know, there's always more to learn. So. Well, yeah, I, I, w I would think, you know, in, in being around, so, and I've not quite understood, there's some kind of whatever that is that takes to make that work, you know. Mm -hmm. and, some, and I've I've been around these songwriting nights, which I, I like, and every once in a while these guys have had, or girls that have had uh, chart records and everything, I say, well, this will never be a hit, but it's a great song. You know, I thought, well, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah. You write something that's poetic or touching, and you say, it'll never be a hit. It be it's a hit, not structured it's... right, you know, and yeah. it's like, well, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't either. I yeah. don't have that talent. Yeah. So. I just think if it comes from the heart that it's going to be special, and it's going to touch one person. That's my goal in songwriting, is right. if I can reach one person Personally. through my music. Well, that's, I think that's, I think that's what, a great goal. I think yeah. it's what happens with songwriter showcases, I think. Yeah. yeah. It makes them so, such a special thing. Every once in a while you hear something that you've heard that they've written that's a hit or something, then they, they say, well, let me play this one for you. <laughs> and they tell you the circumstances, like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> It reaches into your heart, so that's great. Yeah. So y'all gonna keep doing this? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. for sure. All right, now you, you're it sounds back like it's going <laughs> full speed ahead. Where do yep. people find you, or how they find out more about um, your music? We're on Facebook. Um, okay. We post all of our upcoming shows on our Facebook page. It's Leather and Lace um, with the and symbol. The and symbol. And that's symbol. very yes. important. That you get the uh, very symbol. important. You don't want to just. Don't <laughs> I don't even want to know what you, you get. You don't want to go there. No, no, no. That's not. Let me write that and so I can check that out. Ampersand in there. The ampersand. <laughs> we also are on Instagram as Leather and Lace Duet. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, so Leather and Lace Duet on, on Instagram. On Instagram. Have y'all recorded? Uh, we are in the works of okay. making our first EP. We actually have some t-shirts for sale, and you can yes, see the design awesome. and place an order Beautiful. on our Facebook page, Facebook. and that's okay. going to help us go to getting our first EP recorded. Okay, yes. so, okay. so raising money as we go. All right, yes. so sell the shirts. So buy a shirt, yes. 20 bucks. Well, it's, it's really great to have you here. Cute. Very right. cute. We appreciate that. Glad you're, glad you're together right. and found this talent yeah. and, and back yeah. sharing it. Rekindle the talent. We appreciate you, <laughs> yeah. appreciate you being with us. Thank you. So it's leather and lace with the and symbol. Ampersand. Yes. Ampersand. Okay. Yes. Right. Be sure to use the ampersand. I'm going to try that open. To see. <laughs> no, I knew you would. It's Just killing. It's killing. Now my curiosity We have a very up. special meaning behind our name. <laughs> okay. What's the, okay. okay. It's, it's, um, special meaning. Well, sometimes in life, you have, your, your heart gets hardened and right. you become like leather. And sometimes right. you're so transparent, people can see through you. But I think it takes a little bit of both right. to make life very good. work. So right. that's true. Good deal. That yeah. Glad to have that Wonderful. Answer. We're glad to have you here. Well, Thank yeah, you. It's been a pleasure. We'll be back with more as we continue Six in the City. <music> On a lawn mowing service, Propane works for you. Propane can go where you go. Tanks easily changed, no spillage, quick transition, clean burn, increased energy efficiency. Propane, the affordable, clean alternative fuel wherever you mow. Find out more about JA's ProGas, call 422-7500. Propane, the alternative fuel that makes sense. Part of JEA today.
Join March of Dimes and Commercial Bank and Trust for the 11th annual Breakfast for Babies. The Baker's Rack, downtown Jackson, Friday, April 13th, 7 till 10 a.m. A delicious breakfast buffet featuring celebrity servers. All tips and breakfast proceeds benefit the March for Babies campaign. Advanced tickets are $8, available at Commercial Bank and Trust. Tickets at the door, $10. Don't miss Breakfast for Babies, brought to you by Commercial Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Fiber, it may be small, but it is powerful. It connects our city, businesses, and homes to the world. Without it, our ability to compete economically and enjoy technology would be limited. Thanks to the investment in our city by JA, we offer the area's first and only 100% fiber network. When you choose E-Plus Broadband, you get the clearest reception, fastest speeds, and greatest reliability. Thank you for choosing E-Plus Broadband and for your trust in the local service we provide right here in Jackson. Uh, shall I wait while you check your messages? Or, uh... No, you wanted to look up leather and lace. <laughs> Well, you, you have to be doing that now. I was going to wait till late at night and I was by myself. <laughs> I'm actually looking up on the page. But okay, very, very, very good. The reason. We, we, we are working, E Plus TV 6 and our production crew and, and uh, E Plus Broadband working with uh, Channel 7 and organizations that are bringing the gubernatorial candidates to Jackson. There will be a gubernatorial forum, debate, discussion, whatever. It will be at 7 o'clock next Tuesday evening. It will be at Lane College. It will be carried live on WVVJ TV7 and our production crew, Thomas Fargies and everybody is coordinating the production of that. And so it's 6.30, not 7, 6.30. 6 okay, it starts at 6.30. And uh, and so it will feature the, the candidates for governor in the state of Tennessee. And so they have been invited and a lot of work has gone into this. Chamber and a lot of other people are involved in this and organizations across the state that are featuring these gubernatorial candidates. Now, you have found... Well, I, I did want to make mention that to April is national is a, a national safe digging month, so if you're going to do any kind of okay. digging, any kind of planting, any any projects you've got one on outside that require digging, you always need to make sure you call, call 811, 811 first before Child Abuse do. Awareness Month this month. I know that uh, the Carl Perkins Center is emphasizing that, and we have the Redemption Road Rescue. They have a 5K right, coming up 5K, this Saturday the at the canter. lift. The Cowboy right. Canter race Online.com. Right. Race races the, at eight. The stick horse race is at eight forty-five. The right. race is at nine. at nine. That's right. And if you, uh, it is the first race in the West Tennessee Racing okay. Series. And then also we want to promote April as National Nine One One Education Month. Okay. The week of 8th through the 14th is National 911 Telecommunications Week. Okay. And Jackson Energy Authority uh, want to thank the hardworking dispatchers and public safety telecommunicators. Uh, They're unsung heroes that day. are always right. there to answer the call. We so we want to stress that, that this week, and okay. if you get a chance to, thank an emergency responder. Roger, right. We are delighted to have these ladies with us. Appreciate the opportunity to get to know them. Joni Gant and Emily Ann Maoli. And we're going to let them close out the show. Appreciate the ladies. Y'all being thank with you, us. Ladies. This it was is a pleasure. Leather and lace.